People of all sizes, large and little, ladies and gentlemen and folks somewhere in the middle, welcome back to Sushimi's house. I'm your loving host, Master Sushimi, joined today by my sweet, sweet, loving sister. What's your fucking name? Ice Ice Bobby. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been recording so much with uh, my wife recently that I did almost call you my wife, and I was like, that's not who's sitting here. No. My wife's downstairs talking on the phone. Yeah, she's busy. She's a busy woman. I'm not dead yet, guys. That's good. Not yet. Not yet. And we're back with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We just sang the Dragon Tales theme song, as we do before every recording. It's not true. No. Uh, not even remotely. Let's see. What is that? A letter? I have a letter. This is Leopold Strauss. There's a rustling mission. And there's a Hosea mission. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Although the Hosea one is the story. <clears throat> and... Like I was telling Sushi the other day, and by the other day, I mean literally yesterday. Um, if possible, I'd like to, I don't want to say power through the game because that implies that we're going to rush it, and I don't think that's cool, but I feel like we may or may not be able to finish this boy off before I start school. We will see. That's not a promise. It's not a written contract, but I think it would be neat if possible. That would be cool. So um. perhaps we shall look at Hosea maybe? Okay, fair enough. Let's start off with a story mission. Um, especially because... Like, I am curious about that letter, though. Me too. I, I am. Because I think that might be the girl. Let's hmm. let's do letter first, then, if you want. Like, okay. just real quick, and then we'll go to Hosea. How's that? Sounds good. Yeah. Um, especially because I don't fully remember what happened last time. I know we got Jack back. Yes, Jack is back. Uh-huh. Um, but... Oh. Okay, starting yeah. off early. Hey, it says forty four point eight percent. Oh no. <clears throat> well, I don't. I don't think that's just story. Oh, okay, because I was about to be like, holy. I think that heck. includes like all completion. Yeah, I was like. Damn. I could be dead wrong. I hope you are, because if not, what I just said is total mm. bullshit. Yeah. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. Yeah. You saw my issue with that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get moving. No. no. That's a big no, Uncle. At some past recording, I said I didn't even want to look at you until Christmas. Yeah, I'm not sure you're ever going to look at him again then. There's also a Leopold Strauss mission. I'm not excited about that. The last time we did business with him, it went fine. Right? Well, yeah. Mm, kind of. We, like, talked to a woman who was basically like, is it not enough that my husband just died after the beating you gave him? Never mind. I'm talking, I'm thinking about the wrong person. I'm thinking about, um... Yeah, then her son swore vengeance. So, like, I guess you could say that went well if you're a fucking crazy person. No, that's, then I'm thinking very much of the wrong person. It's not Strauss. It's, um... Trelawney? Trelawney. Yes, that that's one That's the went... mission that went beautifully. Yeah. Before it all went to shit. That was like our personal best record for not fucking shit up. Yeah. So, that's who I was thinking of. I guess this is our room. Oh. Let's inspect this letter. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but... Okay. I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? It's a little judgy. Life is very confusing. Yeah, <clears throat> but I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Mm. Yours. Okay. Mary. Well, she's honest, like, yeah, I, I know I shouldn't be asking you for favors, but, uh, ain't got no one else. <laughs> Not wrong about that. Sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some ammo. It's fine. 
get the feeling we're going to need a lot of it in these coming days. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. My throat's a little bit gunky. I had... I keep making horrible mistakes before recording. Uh, today's horrible mistake was, you know, cheese dip is fine <laughs> before recording. <laughs> yeah, no, I had a chocolate milkshake. Man, we're <laughs> we're over two. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, you said over two, and I had like war flashbacks because to every day of our lives. Sorry. Yes. Go on. You know what? Yes. However, not exactly what i was gonna talk about i was gonna go in a little more like you know foolish young people having a good time direction um one of jonathan's friends was came from out of town he was visiting it's i mean one of his best friends so they hung out for a few days and what have you and then one of the nights the three of them asked me to come hang out with them which was great uh, i had a great time uh play monopoly this game is bullshit <laughs> Let me ring this bell. Sorry, so we're going straight to the hotel, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We're going to the hotel. Because I, I don't think we can pick up Jose's mission as well. That's um, something I do hate. I think we can, but it would probably put us on, like, a singular track. Yeah. Like, it's not like a JRPG where you can be like, I have 17 quests. Let's do them whenever. Right. Which I think is, I mean, I guess it's a blessing in disguise because it means that we can't, like, hoard 17 quests at the same time. That's kind of how Rockstar has always done their... Op- their games yeah um sorry i just realized my cores are looking pretty bad fix them um i know exactly how to do that too so yeah and he's doing it right now don't you worry none yeah don't even sweat it here there a it story that's not meant to distract you it's done uh, okay <laughs> <laughs> sorry, oh, yeah. go back, on. back to the story i was telling uh play monopoly did not get angry for once which was excellent even though i came in third place i was so close and then i got the goddamn utilities thing where you like land on it or rather you get a chance card sends you to utilities and then it's like yeah pay that times 10 somebody who was formerly your friend then fists you yeah yeah um (laughs) but after that um we played i believe it's called bean boozled um if anybody doesn't know what it is it's this like jelly bean thing so like you get a container filled with jelly beans and then um there's like a little like spinner kind of like the i don't know why i'm saying this but like the twister spinner so you like spin the guy and like it lands on one and it's like let's say this like kind of pinky orangey oh no this pinky orangey like jelly bean that jelly bean can be one of two flavors it can either be peach or it can be barf <laughs> so you're probably wondering why did you guys play this the answer is we don't love ourselves Guess who got stink bug about five times? <laughs> My mouth felt terrible for about 24 hours. <laughs> and you say 2-0 made me think of that because uh, one of his friends and I kept getting stink bug together. Like, I would get stink bug, and then it was his turn next, and then he would get stink bug. Um, so we were part of the stink bug club. <laughs> stink bug club. Yeah. Fantastic. And I also discovered my mouth is broken. <clears throat> Because when I first got the stink bug, like stink bug was either it or toasted marshmallow. So, you know, two very different things. And I like, chewed down on the jelly bean. And it tasted like, not necessarily like toasted marshmallow, but it didn't taste bad. Like it was just sort of like a, like a, ver- like a vague sweet flavor. So I was kind of like, okay. And I just kept chewing on through and I was like, I got toasted marshmallow. And then a little bit later, like my mouth feels kind of weird. Oop. Well, that was quite rude. Yeah, what the heck? Even though his horse is, like, beautifully chocolatey brown and I love them, but, like, me. I'm going to try that one more time, and if it doesn't go my way... We might die. We're going to have... Whoop! We did almost die. Yeah, you might need to not do that. <laughs> God, this horse wants nothing to do with you. That's okay. I got your number, horse. Don't shoot it. But I really want to. Have you considered that? That I really want to? Don't. It's a horse. It's just noivous. That's fine. My head's caved in, though. Mm, yeah. So I think I'm owed something. Yeah, see, this horse is chill. This one didn't do it. Oh, no. 
Oh, oh no, you don't. You're about to you really about to dead eye this horse. Yeah. See, morality went down. Good job. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Good job, num nuts. Good trade. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, carry on with your bullshit the, story that doesn't involve getting horses. <laughs> oh yeah, I know my shitty no death of horses story. Um, death of my mouth though. But I, yeah, like I chewed into it and my mouth like felt a little weird. And I was like, something tastes weird. And then before I even can express that out loud to the guys, Jonathan's like, oh my God. Your breath. Something smells, like I wasn't even that close to him. I was certainly not ne uh, nearly as close as I am sitting to you. And he was like, oh my God, babe, your breath smells terrible. I don't think that was toasted marshmallow. And like, I'm talking to the other guys, again, pretty good distance from them. And they're like, dude, that was not toasted marshmallow. Your breath smells like shit. And so, like, the next four times I got stink bug, the moment I would bite down, I'd be like, nope. And I knew what it was. Um, I never got toasted marshmallow. And it was so disgusting. And then, of course, later I got rotten egg. So it was like, oh, great. Stink bug on top of rotten egg. That's cool. Which I also didn't detect. So, again, I think my mouth is broken. Because the, the alternative was buttered popcorn. So, again, I bite into this. And I'm like, well, it doesn't taste like buttered popcorn. But it doesn't taste like a rotten egg. I was like, it's not necessarily pleasant. It's just a little weird. So I like, chewed a little bit and then like spat it out. We had this like disgusting spit bucket. And then sure enough, you know, Jonathan says, let me smell your breath. And he smelled it and he was like, that's 100% rotten egg. I don't know what's wrong with you. So. I read that as your health care is empty. And I'm like, oof. This Too is, real. This is the USA faux show. So that's my gross jelly bean story. Um, we got a lot of crackers. If you have some crackers, if you love yourself, don't play that game. Or alternatively, instead eat some crackers. Eat some crackers, or eat some like real jelly beans. If you are into jelly beans, I'm personally not really, you know. And that's why that game is so cruel, right? Because the consistency of jelly beans forces whatever tastes into your mouth. Like there's this green one that's either um, pear or boogers. And I got both. Like, I got pear twice, and then I got booger twice. But let See, me... it was candies that I got from that guy. Oh, yeah. But, um... Red chunk? But the... Sorry, we're just chunking up over here. Yeah, do it. Um, but, like, I'm not a fan of pear. But, like, the entire flavor could in my mouth. And I, like, gagged when I had a good bean, and the guys were so mad at me. <laughs> I was like, I know I'm being ungrateful that I got, like, a good bean and it tastes bad to me. But, like, it just coats your whole freaking mouth. It's horrible. So. So if you want to bond with people, it, it does, it is good. Um, I became very close with his two friends because I watched them gag. You saw them at their lowest. They also saw me at my lowest. Um. And at the end, isn't that what friendship is? Yeah. Please, tram thing, don't hit me. Yeah, don't, don't come around at this moment. You're being the friendliest and it's precious. Well, now I've surely made up for the horse murder. Well, no. Oh, well, accor according to the morality Are you sure? Because it's helping yes. my morality. Yeah. According to this thing, you you definitely Arthur. have. Arthur, up here. You oh. came. Yeah, I came. So, uh, what do you need? Do you guys mind? I'm coming straight down. Yeah, these guys are awful curious. They're like, "Are you about to declare your love?" I'm chasing oh my God. puss. Mind your own business. <laughs> we should have cleaned up a little bit before seeing our girl. Maybe. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, he literally is cleaning up. Gosh, she's so you cute. Can. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, no, Arthur. it's a sad truth. Yeah. Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> Your dad's in trouble? I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy. Gotta stop doing that on stream. It's fine. Or recording. It like peaks the audio every time. Oops. Hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than, than me. 
Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Mm. There I go again. Be kind to me. Please. Why? She's sensitive. I like how her arm just popped in from another dimension. It had to go check and make sure the multiverse was okay. I should have um. asked someone else. Probably. But, but I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. It's just that you didn't love me enough. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. You know, I think about it. Mm -hmm. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. And yet you're when still you sweet on her. Save Daddy. I got a bud. Wow, we have a ch choice this time around. Yeah. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. I don't think there's much that is beneath me. Gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, trying to put you beneath me, girl. <laughs> that took you a second, huh? He said he was going down to the Cause I was focused on their interaction, which is he said something and she gave him like a gentle shove, but like smiling. That's fair. It's cute. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. Oh, don't get my hopes up, woman. Oh, my God, my heart... Oh, my chest hurts. <laughs> it actually stopped because I was like, like waiting with bated breath like, <gasps> is she going to run sure. away with us? It keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But Sorry, that cart just like really got in my way. No, it's fine. And I was like, look, if I hit it, I'm gonna have a bounty. Yeah, if you hit it, you'll have a bounty. Mary will die. Fail this mission. Of a broken wrist. Alright. Yeah, share the road, dog. Right. Oops, sorry. I got my nails did, and they make this beautiful clacky sound when I like, you know, do the, like the, the, what's her name? Dolly Parton, like, washboard thing. Oh. But, um,. It's definitely not a good sound for recording, I'm sure, so, oops. I'll tell you what, I'll give you one free pass. Hit him with that ASMR. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm done. Thank you. That was exciting. <laughs> Invigorating. <laughs> that I was, <laughs> well, I, no, not that far. You gave me a pass. You knew I was expecting to be scolded. <laughs> yeah. no. Would you be like, please, please do not? Which, like, fair. What all that? Dirt. Fair enough. I guess everywhere <laughs> there's dirt. Guess I'll go fuck myself too. Oh my god, speaking of dirt. You guys, I was never so excited to see dirt in my life. Because we went to, like, Sushi's house, which is still being, like, you know, built and fit. Like, it's it's almost done. It's on the way, but still. Or it's coming along, I should say. Um, But I saw, like, real ass dirt and not freaking clay. Because, you know, that freaking Carolina clay, that kind of red, thick in. crap that gets on every- If you look at it, it stained your clothes forever. Man. I had to see dirt, and all I wanted to do was roll around in it. <laughs> There's wet dirt, though. I'm not into that. Nah. Mm -mm. Unless I have rain boots on. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. 